if we could have your attention up here on stage. Welcome to the beautiful Buckhead Saloon. My name is Van the Man McNeil. I am your public relations guy, your media guy, your marketing guy, and for the past 16 years, your public address announcer for your Milwaukee Way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Joining me this year, you've already heard her beautiful voice. You hear her beautiful voice every morning on 99.1 The Mix. The lovely Elizabeth Kay will be joining us at US Cellular Arena this year. A couple of words. Do you want to say hello? Hello, everybody, and welcome to this awesome event with the Milwaukee Wave. Are you having a fun time tonight? We want to thank you so much for coming out to this great event and for supporting the Milwaukee Wave. We have some VIP sponsors here, plenty of silent auction items, classy girl cupcakes, free cupcakes in the back. Who doesn't love sweets? Let's have a fun time. And who's excited for the 2013 season? Let's get started and meet our team. Are you ready? Let me hear you, Wave fans. I said, let me hear you, Wave fans. He is an assistant coach at Marquette University. He does some stuff for SC Waukesha as well. MISL Goalkeeper of the Year from Grant Pass, Oregon. A nice round of applause for number zero, Nick Barber. All right, he was a 2010-2011 MVP of MISL Championship game, led the league in goals against the average, only allowing 3.57 goals per game. Make some noise for number one, Marcel Mitra. Drafted by the Wave in 2008 from UW Milwaukee. He played 67 games for the Panthers, starting in all 20 senior year. From Madison, number two, Tenzin Rumpa. From Brazil, who was awarded Rookie of the Year for the 2012-13 season, make some noise for number seven, Juan Oliveira. This next guy, he's been with us for more than a few years. A great defensive force, a nod at MISL Rookie of the Year as well. Please welcome number 10, Jonathan Santos. He recently signed a contract extension with the team over the summer. He played on the U.S. National Beach Soccer Team in Tahiti. Make some noise, number 14, Nick Pereira. Another vet of the team. Also been with us for years. Done some work and some coaching at FC Waukesha. Give it up for number 21, Giuliano Oliviero. A 15 year vet of the MISL. He was made, he's made Milwaukee his home. He's from Argentina. Make some noise for number 24, Marcelo Botana. If you've been following us on Facebook and at MilwaukeeWave.com, you already know this next gentleman recently signed a four-year contract extension with your Milwaukee Wave. Please welcome number 26, Ian Pax. All right, our next player began his career in Cape Town, South Africa, he has three MISL championships, three in Milwaukee, one in Baltimore, number 28, Jonathan Greenfield. He started at the young age of four, became a professional at the age of 17, also from Brazil, number 77, Marcio Leite! Yeah. 
And another guy from Brazil who's been with the Milwaukee Way for years. Make some noise for number 79. Number 10. Come on now. Don't be shy. Van told me to announce it and he's not here. Let's give him a big round of applause anyways, right? Are you guys having a fun time tonight at this event? What do you think of our 2013 Milwaukee Way? But wait, Elizabeth, there's more. There's the new kids on the block to your Milwaukee Way. Would you like to meet them? Some noise for Fabinho. Some noise for Pablo. They, they aren't new. Everybody up here. Meet our new players. In Judson McKinney from Chicago. Carlos Munoz, who used to play for the Soul, is now with us. One of our local players, head coach Keith Kozer, announced him last night on Sports Radio 1250 WSSP, Mr. Tony Walls. One of our new guys as well, you'll be hearing about his story soon. Please welcome Andy slash Joseph Hackbarn. Jimmy Banks, does anybody know the name Jimmy Banks? A Milwaukee Wave Hall of Famer. He played in the 1990 FIFA World Cup, and we just signed his son to the team. Please welcome J.C. Banks. This next guy, he's like a cockroach, but it's a good thing. He has been back and forth with us on the practice on the reserve team. He's gonna get on the squad this year. Give it up for Choco Alvarado. Sometimes, sometimes you meet the new player the minute before you introduce him. Like Philip Surprise, you'll be hearing about his story as well very soon. And of course, Mr. Anthony Arico, one of our new players as well. Elizabeth Kay will be bringing out your coaching staff. Here we go. Thank you, Van. All right, let's give this team a big round of applause, everybody. All these guys have a story. Good to know them. We're so excited to have you. And for those that are new, welcome to Milwaukee. It's my home city. I've been watching Milwaukee Way for a year. Went to the soccer camp with Keith Tozer. Didn't make it that good of a player, but still, I had a fun time at the camp. And we're so excited to have all of you here. So let's have a great season. Speaking of our coach. All right, let's give a big round of applause to our goalkeeper coach, Mark Litton. All right, head athletic trainer. He has been here since the start with Milwaukee Wave. Put your hands together, make some noise for Cornell Smith and Larry Sales. I was in a green club eating contest with Larry Sales at the state fair and he totally killed me. He just totally beat me. And the win is coach in North America indoor soccer history. You know him, you love him. Make some noise. This guy is one of the best. Coach. Keith Jose! Well, well, well. How's everybody doing? We got another year going on, huh? First of all, I want to thank all the sponsors that are here. Uh, obviously, without the sponsors, the Milwaukee Way uh, would not... Uh, would not be here. I also like to thank all the season ticket holders. Again, without you, we would not be here. All the Booster Club fans and everybody else. Great to see everybody. I'm uh, really excited about coming back this year with this team. 
Uh, Sue Black and I sat down along with uh, Juliana, our assistant coach, and Mark, talked about the direction we wanted the club to go into on the field. Um, I'm really excited about this year's team. Uh, obviously, you know, the players that have come back like Giuliano and, and Nick Borberg and Marcel and Marcelo Fontana and Ian Bennett, Luan, Giuliano, Tenzin Rampa, Nick Pereira, uh, Fabinho, Jonathan Santos, all the... Pablo being back, it's great, but we've added probably the best core of young players that we have added in many, many, many years. Uh, yeah, and I, and I really believe that. You know, you, you, might not, you might not know him right now, but at the end of the year, you're surely gonna know him. I mean, just a guy like J.C. Banks, to have him play, he led uh, the Rochester Rhinos um, with the most assists in the league, and was an all-star player. To have him on the team, and Tony Walls, uh, also another local player, uh, these guys are here not because they're from Milwaukee, but because they're very good players, and I'm extremely excited to go into battle with them, along with the other guys. Um, we haven't announced it yet. We waited till tonight. We, we had a long history of captains with the Milwaukee Way. You know, Michael King is the all-time leading goal scorer in the history of the team, and he was our captain for about 13 years. And then we also had Troy Dasovsky, Todd Dasovsky, uh, Joe Hamas, obviously, uh, and this year's two captains, and I think are going to do a wonderful job uh, leading the legacy of this team to get the trophy back to where it belongs in Baltimore. I mean, in Milwaukee, from Baltimore. Is <laughs> Jonathan Greenfield and Marcelo Fontana. <laughs> a lot of great things going on. Um, you know, December 7th, Chris Daughtry coming here. I think they're like so exciting. You know, we have to have that concert. I know there's another concert. Uh, I've been trying to bribe some of the people in the front office, but no one will tell me about it. But uh, Sue's got something else up her sleeve. Uh, new logos, uh, a lot of new things going on. I'm really excited about, uh, you know, coaching this team coming into the 13th, 14th year. We've added the Wisconsin Youth Futsal Association. Um, we just had one club call me on my way here, added 31 teams to the league. Bavarians last week added 37 teams to the league. So if you're out there and you do have teams that want to play futsal, make sure that you go to the website and do that. So uh, on behalf of all our players, uh, our front office staff, and we have a great front office staff. Um, I'd like to announce them, but I, I don't know where they are. Corey Schooley, where's Corey? VP, ticket sales. Corey, somewhere around here. We got Corey, okay. We have uh, Maria Wolfmeyer started as an, as an administrator of the summer camp program. We have Gunnar Franklin. Gunnar's like, Gunnar does everything. Uh, we also have uh, Jamie Allard, who started as a daughter of a Busa Club member and built her way all the way up. Okay, where's Jamie? Got Jamie. We, we got Laura Sprinkle, where's Laura? Laura's out there, HR. We have Allison Phillips. Allison, where's Allison? Allison. Somewhere around here. Where's Allison? We have Michael Sprinkle with our corporate sales department. And Danny Leach, who's part of our ticket sales department. Of course, Van the Man from the PR department. And of course, I've waited till last. Wait a minute, can you turn the music down a little bit? Some of the guys asked me today, Coach, when I went to your website, I thought your team's color were blue, white, and something else. Why are we black? And I said, because our owner is Sue Black. She's done an incredible job in five months being with the team, along with the front office staff. Uh, she's created a new momentum with the team. Uh, let's give a big round of applause to our owner, Sue Black. Just what a great night, seriously guys. There, there are times in your life that you, you take in these moments and, and this is one of them. 
You know, when we announced that I was going to take over the team, um, it was a different time. It was five months ago. And now five months in, it has been a complete labor of love. And I mean it. We've changed so many things, but it's all for the... Uh, <laughs> these two girls are just absolutely adorable. But I love it. And I, at the end of the day, my one takeaway is I hope I make you guys proud. I hope this front team... You know, these guys are, do one job and these guys do another, but it takes both of them. So could we really give it up for the front office? They've been busting it for five months. They really have. Very, very proud of them. And today I went to practice and I got to see these guys and I go out to Eli and I look down and I'm like, oh, that's right, it's a soccer team. You know, you get so into the business of it and uh, the promotions and all the rest of it, but watching these guys play, you're amazing. And literally, from tonight until March 15th, when we bring on the championship, is that right? Are we going to bring on the championship? You know, you got to visualize and you just got to make it happen. And I'm just so proud of these guys. I'll tell you one thing, that Keith comes in the office. I'll never forget this. He walked in and I'm just busy doing what I do and working. And he came back from one of the first practices and he walked in and he goes, you got a great team. And I went, oh, thank Jesus, you know? <laughs> well, because you can do all of it, but with the, I, I can do my job and they can do their job, but these guys got to get it done, you know? And I'm hoping this year that it's just our year and we can bring it back. And seriously, um, Keith, you leading the team is, uh, uh, we're, we're lucky to have you. Allison, Laura, everything that you guys have done, and all the fans, the sponsors. Could we give it up for the sponsors? <laughs> you know, the sponsors this year, you know, they didn't know what they were getting into, and you know, with being a new owner, and they have all stepped up to support us, so without you. And then the fans, the season ticket holders here, you guys have been through 30 years, it's our 30th anniversary. Richard Dorman here. Can we give it up for Richard? Richard's our team photographer. And he's done so, he, we, we took the team picture and I want to unveil that. Um, and so I want to make this a new tradition that like every year we do this. How, however you turn it around, maybe let's square it up a little bit. Oh. Why don't you guys turn it around for me? You guys have all seen it, but the public hasn't seen it. And we did this at the Art Museum, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So Richard, for what you've done, thank you so much. It's an amazing picture. And it, the one thing he's doing, he's taking pictures of all the players at iconic places all over town. So we're going to be doing a calendar. Everybody asks for one. Next year it might be a little different, but this year it's going to be amazing. It, it really is going to be the Milwaukee wave. So thank you, Richard. And INET, has anybody checked out the new website? Can we give it up for INET for what they've done? What a great company and what great support to us. So um, I want to do something else here just for one second, if I may. Um, could the Tozer family come up here? Keith and Kelly and Gracie. Kelly, could you open this up while he holds her? Allison has a little girl named Peyton and Gracie, and they just made new friends tonight, and they started running around. You're gonna see them, see what I'm talking about? It's amazing. So the, for, it's gonna, for those of you who don't know, that, that Keith lost his dad at, um, how many months ago, and then he just lost his mom a few weeks ago, and the team didn't know what to do, so, um, what we're gonna do instead of flowers or whatever, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna plant a tree on behalf of his mom and dad. And we talked about should it be a hardwood, should it be a, an evergreen, or should it? We decided to get a flowering tree that's gonna flower um, white. It's a, gonna be a crab apple um, every spring. And I'm since I know where to plant it, we're gonna plant it in a really cool place so that every spring you can remember your mom and dad. So on behalf of the Wave and, you know, I, for your loss, that, that's from your, your whole Wave family. And not, not just these guys, from, 
from all of us. So you'll all be able to go see the tree for, uh, for your parents. So I know it's been tough, but we're, we're all with you. So. Yeah, um, and that's what makes this team a family. You know, I, th I think that's the bottom line. We've been around for 30 years, and um, just thank everybody for your support. And at the end of the day, I hope I make you proud. I hope the front office makes you proud, and I hope that you guys just work your frickin' tails off. <laughs> so thanks, everybody. Good night. Well, stick around. You don't have to go. But here, here comes Van Elizabeth. Where's Elizabeth Kay? She needs to go. So a nice round of applause. She's going to be our roaming VA announcer. She'll be out there in the stands with you. One more round of applause for 99.1 The Mixes, Elizabeth Kay. All right, everybody, let's get ready for a great season. Thank you for coming out. Drink, play some bids, talk to the players, and let's go wave. Speaking of bids. The team will uh, exit, they will commiserate with you guys again, and then we will start a live auction up on our live auction block. Lunch with head coach Keith Tozer and owner Sue Black is item number one. Item number two, we will put you on as a guest announcer for the Milwaukee White Soccer Show on Sports Radio 1250 WSSP. Item number three is a party with the way you and 12 friends We'll party with the players, the staff, and owner Sue Black. Our live auction will go down here in just a couple minutes. Stand by and let's go wave. 